This is Kododorg. Let's see what we're doing. A commissioner wants to track the teams in their sport league. I don't see why it can't be us. Why can't I be a commissioner? I mean, because I'm a teacher, but it, I'm just saying, you know, throwing it out there, Code.org, it's to say you are a commissioner and want to track, right? Then I get to be a, a commissioner, which I wouldn't be good at. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, write a parameterized constructor in the team class to assign specific values to the name and num win instant variables. Okay, so parameterized constructor. Let's not let these scary words scare us. We're just doing a constructor with parameters. And if that doesn't make sense, that's fine. Let's start doing it and maybe it clicks. So right now we have this uh, this constructor, which is used to create the team class, right? Or to create an instance, an object from the team class. So right now, just to be clear here, I'm gonna say my uh, uh, team is gonna be, I am putting a lot of thought into this. I'll probably have to speed up the video because I want a really good team name. Robots. If you don't think that's good, you're, you failed my class if you're in it. Uh, new team. And then right now the constructor, you don't pass any information. So I'm not going to pass any information. And just to make sure we can see what's going on. All right. So let me just show you. Boom. Perfect. So right now, no parameters. It's unknown and zero. Why? Because this constructor was used to create an object and set the name to unknown and the number of wins to zero. Now we want ones with parameters. So I'm actually just going to highlight this whole chunk of code stuff. By that, I mean code. And here I'm going to hit paste, command V, command uh, or control C, depending on your machine. And then the parameters I need are team, our name, num wins, well, string, name comma int num uh wins right and that's all looking good and then i'm going to do down here name and num wins now to make sure that the computer knows that i want this uh argument to be setting the name up at the top i can do this dot name and that tells it the name up at the top that's kind of confusing at first for students so i'm going to just call this a uh, new name and new num wins great so we have a parameterized constructor there now uh constructor uh write a parameterized constructor in the team class assign specific values to name instant variable and a default oh i'm doing this wrong a default value to num wins. Okay. Uh, if I get to pick the default value, I mean, we could do zero, but the unparameterized one, I don't know. I'm going to give you five wins just for making something. Zero would make more sense. I don't care. I'm in control. All right. Now, uh, once we do that, in the team runner, instantiate a team. Hey, I've already done that, but now we have a parameterized object using a parameter. Yep. Okay. And so now I get to call it robots or robot heroes, even better, huh? Nah. Um, and now, yep, print the constructor and the values assigned. So robot heroes is the team. I already have this laid out. Robot heroes, five. If I wanna be fancy, which, you know, I do. I can always do something like this. Ooh, I double read these. Okay, guys, we need one more. Well, that will be super easy. So this is a default to numwins. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to copy this down here, bam, and now I'm going to do my uh, int not, uh, cool, and now I'm going to use this, got it, okay, and so then I'm assuming they want two teams, yep, so I'm going to do this and this, and instead of robots, I will say zombies, and then I will say zombies not heroes because i'm funny and then now um let's have this one actually uh set a number of wins and robots are heroes apparently so i'm gonna do 78 no i was not born in 1978 no i am not 1978 students if you make that joke you failed my class uh anyways uh name num wins sure and now i'm just gonna combine this guy what did i just do that was terrifying Something like this. And now I'm going to do it again right below it because I need to copy it. I need to print it for my zombie team as well. Zombies, I'm just pasting in the word zombies. Cool. Let's see. Looking good. Let's test. 
It says team object should not be null, expected not null. We know it's not null, and I want to explain why I know it's not null. My two team objects are robots and zombies, and robots get name produced a result here, and number of wins produced a result. Same with here and here. Neither of these are null. So this test has an, an issue, and I'm not sure what it is. Uh, feel free to comment in the video below if, uh, if you do, uh, but this code is valid. So kind of disappointed that this test is failing, but it's incorrect. Onward.